Dear 2017, we haven't met in person. My name is 2027. I have read a lot about you, but sometimes I still wonder, what were you thinking? That ripped jeans trend was hideous. People paid extra to buy clothes that were already damaged. That doesn't seem very rational. As I write, denim is a material that has almost disappeared. It was stiff and old-fashioned anyways, so I don't miss it. You can still find denim items in vintage stores, but they're not very popular. Dear 2017, you also started the Instagram madness that we're still dealing with today. At the beginning, I believe it was used to post pictures of things you liked. Then people started to post pictures of themselves. Now people live stream their entire lives, 24-7. There is absolutely no privacy or social life outside of the internet. You let a couple of famous sisters influence all society's visions of what the ideal woman body should look like. Since you, women use so-called waist trainers to make their waists look smaller. I think that's nothing else than a corset, the same thing that women used to wear in times when they were considered inferior to men and where their value and status in society were defined by their appearance. We are still fighting with those stereotypes in 2027. I can't remember the last time I saw a woman who had not undergone aesthetic surgery. I did it too. I was 15 and all my friends had already had implants. So I asked for implants as a birthday present from my parents. I couldn't imagine not having implants, but sometimes I wish I'd had the strength of character needed to make my own choice and keep my body more natural. In 2017, people were wearing pre-made clothes that didn't always fit them properly. I can't really imagine how such clothes could have been comfortable. Now we don't have to buy clothes or sew anymore. We can 3D print everything at home. It's so much more practical, trust me. And to be honest, I wouldn't want my clothes to be made by people I don't know in another country for a ridiculous wage. I heard that green was the color of 2017. I find that extremely interesting as we don't really have rules for colors anymore. Now you get an individual skin scan online and you receive a guide of the hues that work for you, the temperatures and the textures you should print your clothes in. That takes the guessing out of building a new wardrobe and it is a true time saver. Though I do understand that looking for the right pieces yourself could have been fun too. I believe that the people of your time had screens they had to touch in order to tell their private computers what to do. Did you call those smartphones? <laughs> That's funny. Fortunately, we don't have such objects anymore. Now we simply touch our bellies, since the clothes that we print include tactile functions. I couldn't imagine having to carry around a physical computer with me when I'm going somewhere. Dear 2017, you were full of contradictions. I'd love to ask for your opinion about many more things I heard, but I have to go. 2018 is waiting for me. Take care.